Good day students, today we're going to look at methods of stock valuation. This is part two in our video series and this topic falls under section 10 of the office administration for CSEC syllabus. That section deals with procurement and inventory management. And in part two, we are looking at the LIFO method of stock valuation. So let's first define or understand what is meant by LIFO and the acronym LIFO stands for last in first out and this means that the last items placed in inventory or purchased are the first items to be issued or, or sold when we are issuing stock. So for the ease of understanding we are going to use the same Ex, um, example that we used when we looked at the FIFO method which was the first in first out method. So in January 12 items of stock and we're going to use reams of paper as the um, inventory item on this stock card. 12 reams of paper were received at $25 and our none were issued. Our balance is therefore 12 reams of paper. 12 multiplied by 25 will give us our total value of stock as at January and the total value of stock as at January would be $300. In February, six items of stock were issued. The balance is six. 12 items, the balance from January, subtract six items, the amount issued in February would give us a balance of six items of stock. So that is where that balance figure of six came from. Therefore, our new value of stock as at the end of, Jan of February is going to be six reams multiplied by $25 per ream for a total of $150. In March, we received eight reams of paper. Therefore, our new balance would be 14 reams of paper. Where did that 14 reams of paper, that balance, come from? That balance came from six, as at the end of February, added to eight, the amount received in March for a total of 14. Six plus eight is equal to 14. So here we have six reams of paper at $25 and eight reams of paper at $30 for a total value, stock value of $390 as at the end of March. In April, Nine units of stock or nine reams of paper were issued from the inventory. So here we, we want to know using the last in first out method, where would these nine reams be taken from? And we are reminded here that last in first out means the last items placed in inventory or bought are the first to be issued or sold. So if we look at our entry for March, we have a balance of 14 reams, which comprises of six reams from the January stock and eight reams from the stock received in March. Therefore, using the LIFO method, the last in, first out method, these nine reams would come from eight reams from March's stock and one ream from January's stock. Remember, the last in would be the first out. Our balance of paper or stock remaining would be five. Where did that five come from? Remember, in March, our balance was 14 reams. However, we issued nine of those reams in April. Therefore, 14 subtract nine 
is equal to 5. What then is the value of our stock as at the end of April? The value of our stock as at the end of April would be 5 reams at $25 because the stock we have remaining would be 5 reams which comprise January's stock, the stock that we received in January. Therefore, the total value of stock as at the end of April using the last in first out method would be $125. Okay, so here are some two quick review questions. What is meant by, the, by LIFO and how is LIFO used as a method of stock valuation? I wish you good luck in answering any questions that you may encounter on stock valuation.